There's only two days left until we celebrate the 4th of July, and a lot of people are planning to get away for the long weekend, but that also means we'll see busier than normal airports. So joining me this morning to share how to best navigate your travels is Director of Aviation for the Houston Airport, Jim Seziak. Good morning, Jim. How are you? Good. Good morning. Great to be with you. Uh, so we're talking Independence Day travel, and I know Independence Day isn't the only reason we are going to see busy airports. What else is happening? Yeah, so on uh, July 4th, we have the Copa America quarterfinals that are happening. So we're uh, having uh, Argentina playing Ecuador. So we're getting a lot of traffic coming in from Argentina and Ecuador, and then also throughout the United States from the travelers that were already in the States to watch the teams. And how many people are you guys expecting to travel through the airports? So for over the, the holiday period, we're about 1.9 million passengers uh, through both airports, and that, that is a record for us. So we are at the busiest we've ever been right now for the summer. All right. Where are people traveling to? I mean, I know we got a lot of destinations that you could do, the Bahamas, Cancun. Uh, what are you guys seeing? So uh, looking at the, the load factors, people are going everywhere. Uh, pretty much all flights at the airport are, are somewhere in the 90% in the full. So uh, everybody's going everywhere. And how much earlier should travelers get to the airport? I know they got to give themselves some extra time. Yeah, so domestic travelers, you know, two at least two hours. Uh, for international travel, it's three. Uh, and then it's, it depends on your situation. So obviously, if you're traveling with a family, that's going to take you longer to get through and, 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 and corral folks, uh, and give yourself a little time. But obviously, for those experienced travelers, um, it's going to be busier than normal, but uh, things are moving. And I know we are constantly making upgrades right to the airport. So there's a lot of construction going on. Uh, could construction impact travelers? Uh, it should not. So all construction that has any impact on the road has been halted during the holiday periods. And when would you say are the least busiest times if I wanted to kind of beat the crowd? Is there any open window? Yeah, so so midday tends to be a little bit less. Um, you know, our peak periods usually are between 4 and 7 p.m. Um, because we have, we've got a large outbound bank um, and then also a large arrival bank that comes in late in the evening. And any other advice that you give to travelers that we didn't touch on today? Because I know it's summertime, school's out, so we not only have uh, big events, but we just have summer travel in general. Yeah, so you can go to the airport's website. On there, you can reserve your parking, so that takes a little bit of a load off you. And then also, you can see our TSA check time, uh, checkpoint times uh, live. Um, so if there is a longer line at one area of the terminal, you can go to another checkpoint and then use the train in the airport to go to your gate wherever you need to go. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jim, for joining us. Those are all helpful tips, and hopefully, those at home were watching. And you can also go to our website to rewatch re this interview uh, if you would like to learn a little bit more.